Hi, I'm Genetic Demon, and um, today I'm looking at the uh, oh well operating system stroke hardware that I'm going to use to run some of my hopeful retro um, let's play. So um, this is uh, Lacquer. Um, have it running on a Raspberry Pi uh, version two, um, and Lacquer, as you can see. That's uh, a very sort of, and I hate to say this, Sony-esque um, menu system. Very simple. Um, we have load content, and literally that allows you to select a file. Uh, files can be copied onto the machine um, via a network. Uh, it's very easily done. Um, you've got online update. Um, you can update lacquer obviously update thumbnails is quite quite good uh, allows you to add thumbnails for packs of games that you may have um, I did the uh, Atari one earlier I'll show you that shortly and then um, contact down content download unless it adds uh, context histories and various other bits and pieces to games uh, information is general system information about the versions you've got. It's quite in depth actually to be fair. Uh, <coughs> this is the quick the um, actual OS that's running underneath which is Retro Arch um, which is uh, a Linux product. You've obviously got shut down and you've got reboot. Uh, if we go into the sort of the settings menu you've got your, your video do things like turning on the frame rate so it's running at what I would expect because this is TV it's running on so um, 60 frames per second a um, number of other things that you can do within this to change the way it looks <coughs> audio you know mute the, mute the audio turn it up down change the devices inputs uh, your keyboards and mice and other things menu uh, I'm gonna gonna change this actually because let's just be honest um, we'll do. You can change the, the the sort of the things that are dropping down on the screen and off completely. I'll leave it the simplified ribbon. Let's just change the color, eh? Yeah, I like the under the sea. Let's do that. Uh, you can change thumbnails, tabs, and things. There's lots and lots and lots of. It's fairly configurable. Uh, Wi-Fi. You can add Wi-Fi into it. Services as you can put shh on the on it so uh, um, SSH um, so that you can connect up via a Linux box or a PC box with Putty um, Samba that's so that you can see a window share <coughs> set up the username what language you are and privacy settings well there's none in there at the moment so it doesn't really matter um, also you find on the menu you've got advanced options as well which you can turn on and that turns on a whole bunch of other features look oh tons including recording uh, which you can turn on and off um, yeah, achievements can enable achievements on and off um, there's, there's lots and lots and lots of other stuff um, to be fair I quite liked it off <laughs> so it refreshes that and you just go back to the basics next you've got games that you may have played previously by the ROM name rather than necessarily the actual name um, if you need to add anything this is very simply done you can just scan the directories that you've uploaded I've got a few that I've uploaded here and then or scan a single file and then it adds it like this and you see that's the thumbnails I was talking about earlier on the edge adds those to the edge of the screen and then it's just a case of launching them I uh, hope you enjoyed my introduction to Lacquer. Um, uh, hopefully, I'll be back with uh, a few retro Let's Plays um, in the not too distant future. See you later. Bye.